What is that? One hundred percent. That's an A, by the way. Star stuff. You and you and you and you are one hundred percent star stuff. Now you don't have to take my word for it. Absolutely not. Do you know the great astronomer Carl Sagan? stated that we, you, are 100% star stuff. The very essence of the cosmos is in you. That's right. The very elements, the very same nitrogen, the very same oxygen, the very same calcium, the very same sodium, the very same potassium, just to name a few, exist in each one of you. So you might say that the vastness of our magnificent universe, of our galaxies, exists right inside you. Well, do you know what that means? That means that you, just like our universe, just like our galaxies, you are limitless. You are devoid of limitations. Now, I know some of you are sitting there thinking, what? What? I want you to know you are 100% star stuff. And the only trick and the only key is that you need to believe it again. You don't have to take my word for it. Because former President Ronald Reagan said that there are no constraints on the human mind. There are no walls around the human spirit. And there are no barriers to our pro progress except those which we erect ourselves which means the only difference between the universe and the galaxies is that it knows it. You are 100% star stuff. The galaxies, everything that makes up our universe is in you. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that you are limitless. You see, I want you to believe today that hope can flourish, that your dreams can take flight. And for each one of you here, every single one from 90 to 9, I want you to know that the dreams you dream can become the realities that you will find. All you have to do is believe because you already have the ingredients in you to make those dreams a reality. You just need to believe in you. Robert Goddard, we can't talk about dreams and flight and space and the universe without speaking about the father of modern rocketry, one of my favorite guys of all times. And he said that the dreams of yesterday are the hopes of today and the realities of tomorrow. I want each one of you to know that you, you star stuff, and you star stuff are our hope for today because all of us here know that you are the future. Now, it's not all going to be easy because we know that the realities of tomorrow are going to present challenges. Each one of you 
has your own mountains, your own Everest that you are going to have to climb. Some of them are going to be academic. Some of them are going to be personal. But I want you to know that you are equipped with the ingredients to reach the pinnacle of your Everest and plant your flag. The journey is going to be long. It's going to be hard. And I promise you, it most definitely won't be linear. John Krakauer is known as the great Everest mountaineer. He's been to the pinnacle several times. And when asked what he thought what is, was his greatest triumph, he said, the prestige I have earned is not because I have reached the top of Mount Everest. It is because I had the courage and I overcame the fear and I took the risk to traverse and walk the paths to get to the top. You see, his prestige was earned by walking those unforgiving paths. Sometimes with minimal equipment, sometimes with faulty equipment. But his prestige was earned because he did it boldly. He took the risk. He believed in himself. He knew that the essence of the cosmos was in him and it gave him strength. And he kept putting one foot in front of the other. He took step after step. And we all know there's an old saying that a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. Sometimes that step seems impossible. I'm here to tell all of you star stuffs. I want you to know that many years ago, even before you were just a glimmer, there were a few men that decided to take a step. They heard it was impossible and probably even improbable. But you see, in their mind, because they understood their origins, they knew that the word impossible actually is and says, I'm possible. They understood that they were star stuff and they took the risk and they took one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. They succeeded. I want you to know, each one of you, I'm sure in your minds as sixth and seventh and eighth graders with dreams and hopes. I'm sure you look in the mirror and you say, am I going to make it? Will I make it to the top? And I'm reminded of the words of one of my main man poets, Dr. Seuss. And will you succeed? Yes. Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. Congratulations, star stuff. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. And to each one of you, 
100% star stuff. Oh, the places you'll go. Thank you.